Hello, Mary. Hello. Okay, sorry, teacher, I was late because my laptop shut down. So I have to open it one more time. Okay. All right, so wait a minute, Mary. I will just open our lesson for tonight. Anyway, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine also. Okay, so, well, what are the things that you have done today? Mm. I am do my homework. Mm -hmm. In what subject is that? Is Vietnamese. A Vietnamese, okay. So, we, uh, I opened now our... Okay, here it is, our activity for tonight. So we are just going to continue our activity that we were not able to finish tonight, okay? Okay. Can you see me clearly, Akiko? Uh, Mary, can you see me clearly? Yes. Okay, that's good because uh, my ring light is... I didn't plug my light, so... Okay. Anyway, let's begin, Mary. Okay. All right, so now we are already in part number four with six questions. Okay, so again, this is a reading activity. Okay, so read a story, choose a word from the box, write the correct word next to numbers one to five. There's one example. Okay. So now, Mary, you can see here a box of words which you're going to choose your answers, okay? There's space, quiet, wish, peace, castle, swan, began, flu, finish, and brave. Okay, start reading now, Mary. This quadruple's birthday yesterday. He won a toy with good food. Take him around space, but that that's very hard to find. He got up very early and ran downstairs to the chicken kitchen. No one was there, and the house was very. Mm hmm. And the house was very. <laughs> was very quiet. They is train, he thought. Then he saw an old mat on the table. He put it on the floor and stood. And stood. Okay. Then he saw an old mat on the table. He put it on the floor and stood on it carefully. Suddenly, it He flew up into the air and took Robert through the clouds to a castle with lots of mm -hmm. flags on top. It had a big door. Robert opened it and saw a lovely garden with was full of flowers. There was a lake there too. A beautiful, a beautiful stream. 
swam, swam on the water. There was a picnic with a birthday cake on the grass too. He looked at it and saw his name on it. The mat stopped. The mat stopped, and Robert got up. He Mm -hmm. He finished to eat the cake when suddenly he woke up. It was on a dream. Okay, it was began. Okay, it must be began and not finished. Okay, so four points for you in this activity. Okay, so now, number six. Mary, choose the best name for the story. Is Robert's dream dream. It's Robert's strange dream. Okay, plus one point now that is a total of five points okay one wrong answer only okay now mary let's continue so we are now in part number five with seven questions okay so look at the picture and read the story write some words to complete the sentences about the story you can use one two three or four words okay so the title of the story is david meets a famous footballer Okay, now, Mary, you can read the story, and then after that, you're going to answer the questions um, after the story. Okay, let's begin. David doesn't like school, see? Listen very, very much. He loves sport. Sport in art. But he thinks much in English are very difficult. His, his father always taught him you must study hard at school. Subjects like math and English are important. But David didn't believe him. One day, David was reading his town newspaper when he saw something very interesting. He wanted to find his father. Dad, look at this. Some famous English footballers are going to come here to play. It's very exciting. Can we watch the game? His father was very excited to and phoned the sports center to buy some tickets. But there weren't any... But there weren't any, everyone wanted to be there, and lots of people already had their ticket. David was very sad. The next day, David was at school when he did the sad. One of the English football players is going to visit you all tomorrow. You can ask him question. We have he'll play football with you too. The footballer was called Robert. He bought red and white t-shirt for all the children, which were very kind. But David okay. didn't ask him any question because he didn't know the English word. But it was great to meet him, and David was very happy when Robert kicked a ball to him. David studies hard in his English lesson now. Okay, so we have example here. David enjoys doing blank at school. So the answer is sport and art. Next one. David's blank thinks math and English are important school subjects. So the answer is father. Okay, number one, Mary.
Okay, now read your answer. Start with number one. David read about the footballers in the newspaper. Both David and his dad felt excited when they read about the game. They were not tickets though, so they couldn't buy any. Okay, that is correct. Okay, so in the first part, you got all the answers correct, which is three points. Okay, next one, Mary. Continue with number four up to number seven. Okay, read now your answer in number four. David teacher taught him about the famous football footballer to who want to visit the school. Robert gave t shirt to all the children. David couldn't mm have -hmm. any option, but Robert did give a football to him. Now David works smart further in his English lesson. Okay, very good. So you got all the answers correct. That is a total of seven points. Okay, so now let's proceed to part number six, Mary, with 10 questions. Okay, so read the text, choose the right words and write them on the lines. Okay, so now Mary, you can stop. Uh, you can start reading here, okay, because this is the first part of the story. Okay, start reading now. Last weekend, Mary and Harry were going by train to stay with their aunt and uncle in London. When the train stopped at a small... Okay, so the example is at, okay, at a small station. Continue. Thank you. 
station, a Ching man, Ching man got on. He was shot in back. With a white face and big red nose. Okay. It's what a. This was a long way to London, and the children. Are very bored. So the clown. So the clown told them stories. About the sick circus. Then circus. Sick circus. Mm-hmm. Then he asked, would you like to see? Would you like to see? A nice bed and his time to... His pocket. The children say yes, because they... So he found that he had a mouse of perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps a little rabbit with him. But they were very afraid when he pulled out a long black snake, the cloud said. He's a very plenty snake. He called Fred. Fred used to sleep on Mary knee. When they got to London, the children told their aunt and uncle, we want to see a pet snake. Enough. Okay, are you sure with enough? We want a pet snake enough. Are you sure with your answer? We want a pet snake too. Okay, two is correct. Okay, very good, Mary, because you only got um one wrong answer and a total of nine points for part number six. Okay, so for the last part, Mary, which is part number seven, now all you have to do is to read a diary and write the missing words. Write one word on each line. Okay, so in this one, Mary, um, you, um, you're going to think of your own answer, okay? Because you cannot choose any answers here. So you have to think whether, uh, what word are you going to use, Okay. All right, let's start now. I had a very interesting day today. I went to see my friend Sarah. I did start to take my new bicycle, but when I Go riding around the park. 
I heard someone call from a tree. I look up in was a beautiful green carrot. Is look. <laughs> look at me and say hello when I tell it full <laughs> me on the way home. It's in my bedroom now and I hope it can stay with us okay let's check if your words are correct okay so the first one but when i was riding but when i go riding, okay it, it must be was okay next one i looked up and it's it's was okay it must be it because it's only one, okay? Beautiful green parrot. It looked at me, correct? It followed me, correct? And with us is correct. Okay, this one must be it only. Okay, so one, two, and three points on the last part of our reading activity. Okay, so we are done already now, Mary, in reading activity, okay? So... Wait for me, Mary, because I will just open our next material. So I think, okay, we are now in speaking activity. Okay, here it is, Unit 12C, Speaking Activity. Okay, so now we are already in speaking activity. Okay, now Mary, for the first one, I want you to tell me something about your family. Okay, what can you say about your family, Mary? I have two. There is my, there are my dad, my mom, my baby sister, and me. Okay, now, uh, what else can you say about your family? Mm. My dad is a doctor. He is 36 years old. Um, oh, your dad is a doctor? Is... Yes. Oh, okay. I thought your dad is an architect. Um, no, my um, this my uh, uncle is a doctor. Oh, okay. Next, uh, what else? My mom is a um, teacher, and she is thirty-two years old. Mhm. Mm my is two years old, and I'm nine years old. And you are nine years old. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, what are the things that you and your family likes to do on weekend or holiday? My family like my family like um together again your family likes to do do exercise together 
Ah, do exercise together. Okay, and how about, uh, for example, you are on a holiday. Do you want to travel together with your family? Yes. Mm, very good. Now, where, where do you usually travel? Can you uh, ask again? My internet is not good. Um, uh, where do you want to travel with your family or in what place? It's on the beach. <coughs> it's on the beach. Okay, that's good. Okay, now Mary. Are you still, um, do you now go to school or still online? Yes. Is it still online? Yes. Oh, okay, but before, before when you are still able to go to school, how do you go there? Hmm, I go by car. By car, so who drives the car for you? It's my dad. It's your dad. Okay, and then how do you go home? It's uh, by motorbike. By motorbike. So who drives the motorbike? Is it your mom? It, yes. Okay. Now, do you like traveling by train, Mary? No. No, why not? Uh, because um, my, my house uh, not near the train station. Oh, really? You don't have a train station? Yes, but it's far my house. Oh, all right. Where is that? Oh, it's very. Are is your house very far from Ho Chi Minh City? Yes. Okay. But have you tried riding on a plane before, Mary? Have you experienced riding into the train? No. Oh, not yet. Well, it's very fun. Okay, it's very nice to ride on a train because it's very fast. Okay, anyway, so let's start answering activity number one of speaking. Find the differences between the two pictures, okay? So first, you can encircle it before you explain your answers.
Okay. Okay. Now, can you explain the differences? Is um in the one, the clock is yellow. A uh, clock is a uh, gray, but in the two is yellow. In the one, mm -hmm. the pitch, the up. The picture apple is under the clock, but in between two, the it's uh on the clock. In between one, in the shop have lots of people, but in between two, not have people. In uh, okay. In picture one, the shop. The the is in picture one is a bookshop, but in picture two is uh is a supermarket is um uh, uh, shop have drink and food. In picture one, the man is. Holding a umbrella, but in picture two, he's holding a newspaper. In picture mm -hmm. one, in the tree, not have people, but in picture two, have lots of people. In picture one, the bird is color white, but in picture two, their color green. In picture mm -hmm. one, the old woman is wearing a coat, but in picture two, she is holding a coat. In picture one, the ma the boy eats holding a drink, but in picture two, he's drink a he's drink it. In picture one, the old man's hat is on her suitcase, but in picture two, it's on the road. In picture one, the girl. Next to the boy, it's reading a brown book, but in picture two, she's reading a pink book. In picture one, have a moon, but uh, in picture two, not have a moon. Okay, is that all? Yes. Okay. Let's see. So you're able to say a lot of differences from the two pictures, okay? Let's count first your answer. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so in picture one, you have eleven answers. Let me see in two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so in the first picture, you have 11 answers. And in picture two, you have 12. Wait a minute. Maybe I in count it. One, I have 12, 12 too. 
Not 12 balls. So wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, didn't see the square in the bookcase. Okay, so I will give you 12 points in this one. Okay, let me see if that is correct. Okay, so here is one. That's correct. Two, three, four, five, six. So it's only six because um, the boxes here are... Um, each two answers have... In every box, there is two answers, I mean. Okay, so six times two is 12. Okay, you are correct. Okay, good job, Mary. Next one. All right, so this is Anne and Bill. They live in the same street. I don't know anything about Anne's house, but you do. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay, now look at the picture, Mary. Where is Anne's house? It's near the museum. Okay, it's near the museum. Is it old or new? It's new. Okay, how many windows are there in Anne's house? It's six. Mm -hmm. What is the color of her house? Uh, it's blue and white. And has, has it got a garden? No. No, it doesn't have. Okay, good job. Now, Mary, it's your turn to ask me the questions, okay? So you don't know anything about Bill's house. And then now you're going to ask me some questions. Okay, start asking me, Mary. What Bill how is Bill how old or new? Bill's house is old. What color is his house? His house is color red and white. How many windows are there in Bill's house? There are 10 windows in Bill's house. Has it got a garden? Yes, it has. Where's Bill's house? Bill's house is near the station. Okay, very good, Mary. So I will give you 10 points in this activity. Okay, now, Mary, let's continue for the last part, okay? So these pictures tell a story. It's called the picnic. Just look at the pictures first, okay? So in picture one, Mary, here is the story, okay? John and Sally and their parents are getting into the car. They're going to have a picnic. Okay, so now continue the story, Mary. In picture two, uh, the, um, John and Sally's mother is leaving and their dad is cooking some food. And mm -hmm. in picture three, John and Sally play tennis. Two bears eat, go to near the, their picnic. Her, their dad is very scary and he is playing on the tree. The children are scared of the two bears. They give two bears some banana. Is that all? Yes. Okay, let us see. Okay, so here is the suggested answer or suggestion story for those pictures, okay? The family have arrived in the country. The father is putting the picnic on the grass. The mother is sleeping in the sun. A bear is watching the family. He is saying to the baby bear, come and eat. The father is afraid. He is climbing a tree. The children aren't afraid. They are giving the bear some bananas. Okay, very good, Mary, because your answer is just exactly um how the suggestion is okay very good so i will give you five points for that 
Okay, so just in time, Mary, we are now finished in the speaking activity, okay? So let's continue this one again. Oh, I mean, um, we're going to have or to start another one again on Thursday because tomorrow teacher is off, okay? So we have no classes tomorrow because it's my birthday, so I'm on off, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm going to see you again on Thursday, Mary. Okay, so Bye. that's all. Bye.